Team coverage about the coronavirus as COVID-19 pandemic puts a burden on beef suppliers and other ranchers. KETK's Trent Bennett joins us now and Trent, you spoke with our local agriculture agents today. Casey, I did. I spoke with the folks at the AgriLife Extension Office and they say that before the coronavirus outbreak, the beef and cattle industry has been facing hardship for producers for quite some time. And this certainly is not putting a stamp or helping ease concerns tonight as we see a shortage of supplies in our stores. The concern for the cattle industry remains. Will local suppliers stay afloat? To give you an idea, per 100 pounds of fed cattle prices, it's going to set you back an average of $112. This time last year, it was $127. As the numbers fluctuate, the future of the cattle industry is in question. It's hard to predict, you know, what's going to happen, you know, down the road, and people are trying to, to stock up and everything else. Plus, you know, all of our schools are closed, so all the kids are home, so there's more food being bought at the home, for the home, that is normally that they would get at least one, maybe two meals a day at the schools. Uh, he says right now confidence for most is low, and that's just because the future of the market is following the stock market. Now, but when we talk about the future of the meat market industry coming up tonight at 10, we'll hear how COVID-19 is affecting students looking toward a future in 4-H programs and in all the future of farmers. We'll have that for you tonight at 10. Reporting live in the studio, Trent Bennett, KETK News. You know,